Hello MUS 2020 students. This is a quick video to go over recording with a built-in mic in your laptop or webcam. First things first, open up the options menu and click on preferences at the very bottom. Select the audio tab on the left and we can configure the audio device. This will look really familiar as you already did this in week one in the setting up an audio interface video. In fact, all you really need to do is look at the audio input device and make sure it's set to your built-in microphone, which is what it's usually called on Apple devices. On Windows, it's usually named something else, like microphone or webcam. Whatever it's called, make sure it's selected and exit out of preferences. Now here's the important part. The built-in mics are typically placed really close to the speakers in a laptop which means a nasty and possibly painful feedback loop. In order to use it without tons of feedback, make sure you're wearing headphones. Plug them in and record enable an audio track. Click the record button up top and test your mic. You can record either directly into arrangement view or instead you can click on a clip and record into that. I will do that now and just record a quick sample. When I record enable, you can see that since I have monitoring turned off, I'm not going to hear anything through that track, but I can still see the levels rise and fall in the fader. Select the recording and play it back. You may need to adjust the clip's volume. If I take a look at that, I can see that it's pretty quiet. To adjust the volume, I go into the clip view and then I select the clip gain and increase it. This will let me hear my strumming, hopefully a little bit louder. You can also adjust the volume down if it's too loud. Very important thing to do so that you can hear your recording. Once you've recorded some audio, you can have fun with it by using Ableton's warp options or loading your audio clips into Simpler, which are described in the other videos this week.